Welcome to another video by Abron Expert. This is a Newton ring setup for fringes by Cognos method where we have a glass plate and uh, we are putting this glass plate with the bottom and one perspex plate where we which creates the hyperbolic fringes. Now we have the sodium vapor lamp which is optional. Sodium vapor lamp is now doing. I have just put it. One transformer is available. It works with the and then I am using the whiter slit so that it is visible and this see you can see this much is path of the light is falling the wider the path the more easy it is to see now i can show you these fringes which is uh, young's modulus by uh, y by corners method is the formula and different uh, different uh, denominations uses symbols used in this setup is says microscope sodium vapor lamp microscope and then the plate in this setup the book says one glass plate at the bottom and then one plate on the top but we have practically found glass plate we put the smaller one below and then put the weight on the side and then the fringes are visible like this easily and then uh, due to the hyperbolic interface due to the monochromatic light you can see how much is the curvature and uh, this is we use instead of traveling microscope we are having a special microscope which is Newton ring microscope or either you can use a traveling which is having x and v motion but in this you can use the two two uh, calculations can be there charts are there you can see very easily how much weight is we are employing it's in kgs but we have found it is in grams actual working is much better in grams and then uh, thickness of the beams and other things you can weigh and calculate as per your books now i show you this has a two motions also one motion like this, another motion like this to calculate. And what we have done, we are using this. If we move it uh, from this place to this place, it does not change. Only the area of the sodium light falling will change, but the, the hyperbolic fringes will be easily visible. Now you can, I'll show you the fringes. I'm putting this microscope on one side so that you can see easily. I'm just moving it to an, uh, one side. So it's almost the area is empty. First you have to visually see the fringes which is visible. Now I show you. These are the fringes available. See these are fringes. I can move my head. Then only fringes are still there. If I move the light still fringes will remain there. And the wider the light falling on this the fringes will be much better to see. These are the visible fringes you can calculate and then the the path and the weight if I move I have to if I just move this perspex sheet to the left right left right or front and bottom then you see how what changes it makes to the fringes see this still it remains there the fringes is due to the curvature of the lens the curvature and the flatness of the glass plate so you can see and then visually you can move the microscope uh, across i am putting it just to so that you can focus very easily focusing is much easier and then you move the to the visual way moving this and moving this adjusting both way by moving slide uh, left side right side and then move bring it to the center here you bring it to the center so that you can visually see very easy but you need patience to form this experiment. Please visit the website and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.